Well, good morning, all grade 7 students. Welcome back to our science class. This morning, we will continue our lesson. Last week, we learned about unit 4.6, that is about classifying invertebrates. Did you remember the keyword invertebrate? What does it mean? Invertebrate means the animals without backbones. Okay, and invertebrates are classified into three classes or three groups. Did you remember what are they? They are molars, annelid, and arthropods. As you can see in your lesson on page 64. So right now you can open your book to page 64 once again to see your lesson one more time. So invertebrates are classified into three classes or three groups. They are molars, annelids, and arthropods. So molars are the invertebrates or animals with soft body like a snail. Okay, and annelids are the the animals like uh, worms. We can say the animal with their segmented bodies as a worm, earthworm, and arthropods. That is what we are going to study today. Take a look at take a look at this. We say. Uh, we can see arthropods and arthropods are animals with jointed legs so the body are, are jointed with the legs and they have a skeleton on outside of bodies that are called exskeleton so the skeleton is outside of the body so that skeleton is called exskeleton all right and arthropods are classified into four groups or four classes do you know what are they? So they are insects, arachnids, crustaceans, and meropods. Okay, again, how many uh, arthropods are classified into? They are classified into four groups or four classes. And what are they? They are insects, arachnids, crustaceans, and meropods. We're gonna go and study more about each one of these uh, arthropods. So the first one we are going to insects. So we, we know that there are many insects, right? So insects are invertebrates with six jointed legs. So we'll pick up one of our insect that have uh, six jointed leg. As you can see in the picture right here, it is a locust. So a locust has six jointed legs with the body, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can see six jointed legs with the body right here, okay? And the, bo the body is segmented, you see? Okay, and it has a pair of wings and it has a pair of antenna, okay? So this is called antenna. So you can say antenna. Okay, antenna. Okay, so it has two, or we can say one pair of antenna. All right. So the second invertebrate or arthropod that is called arachnids. So arachnids are invertebrates with eight jointed legs. So you can see this picture a spider, it has eight legs. Okay, it has no wings, so spider has no wings, has no uh, antennas, and the body is not segmented, okay? So you can see here, you can, we can see the legs here are eight, right? So two, four, six, eight, okay. So arachnids are invertebrates with eight jointed legs, we can say, are. Uh, you can see in the picture right here, it has no wings or antenna, okay? So a spider or a scorpions are called arthropods. Spiders and uh, scorpions are, are ara okay, arachnids, okay. So, number three, we're talking about crustaceans. Crustaceans are vert invertebrates with a hard exoskeleton. So, look at a lobster. So it has the outside skeleton right here that is called 
exoskeleton. Okay, right. And it has two pairs of antennas in front. Here you can see here, right. And very big legs right here. We can we can have more uh, crustaceans like crabs. Okay, and water fleas and wood lice. They are crustaceans. Okay, and another uh, group or another type of our arthropod is meripods. So meripods are invertebrates with many jointed legs. Okay, with many jointed legs. So you can look at the picture. There are so many legs. Okay, again, meripods are invertebrates with many jointed legs, like an. Uh, okay, look at this picture. A centipede. So you see, you have, you can see there are many uh, legs, and it has an exoskeleton as well. In, um, it has a pair of antenna as well. Okay, except the spider. A spider has no antenna. Okay, but uh, lobsters, uh, a locust, and a centipede has a pair of antenna. Okay. So these are the four classes or the four groups of our arthropods. They are insects, arachnids, crustaceans, and meripods. So to get more information of these four groups of our arthropods, you can read the passage on page 64. Okay, so after watching the video, you can read more, you will find more information of our arthropods right here okay peg 64 and 65 after watching this video i will uh, let you copy the information or the lesson of our uh, first session lesson and i will drop our first task after you all watch this video okay so right now watch this video and when you are done you can copy the lesson and then just say i am done i will drop the task one Okay, so I'll see you in the second video clip. Hi there, welcome to our second episode of our lesson. So right now we are going to do our task 2 all together. Okay, so task 2, just open your book. It is in your textbook, not workbook or activity book. You just go to page 66. Uh, the exercise 4.2, okay? The drawing shows a small animal that lives in water, okay? So you can take a look at in this picture, all right? So you will just circle, okay, this animal. So what type is that? Is it a arthropods or molars or uh, anolids? Okay, try to find out and then you can just circle. So which three of this group of uh, organism does this animal belong to so take a look at this picture and you can circle okay so is this animal belong to arthropods or molars or annelids okay so try to think of this carefully you can see exoskeleton you can see uh, antenna and jointed legs so probably you can guess or you can find the answer already right so there, you can count the legs and you will know what type of this animal. Okay, so just circle. When you are done, take a picture and post in my uh, personal telegram, okay? So I'll see you in the last video clip. Hello guys, welcome to our last episode of our lesson. So I'm gonna do a quick review, okay? Right, so what have you guys learned today? Your lesson is about classifying invertebrates and we studied section B that is about arthropods. So as you know, arthropods are animals with jointed legs. So the body has their legs jointed together right there and arthropods have skeleton on the outside of the bodies that is that are called exoskeleton okay and arthropods are classified into four classes or four groups they are insects arachnids crustaceans and meripods did you remember hope you all remember these four classes or four groups of arthropods 
So uh, when I ask the questions like how many classes, okay, or how many groups of arthropods are classified into, so you can answer there are four. And what are they? They are insects, arachnids, crustaceans, and myriapods. Okay, insects are invertebrates with six jointed legs. So you can see a locust right here, it has six jointed legs with the body, okay? And it has a pair of antenna, it has a pair of wings, and the body of this locust is segmented, okay? Right, and arachnids are invertebrates with eight jointed legs. So you can see a spider right here. It has no wings, no antenna, but it has eight legs jointed with the body. Okay, and the body is not segmented. Okay, crustaceans are invertebrates with a hard exoskeleton, like a crab, like a water fleas, lobsters, and wood lice. So it it has a exoskeleton, a very a hard exoskeleton. So the, the skeleton is outside of the body, and it has a a, a pair or two pairs of antennas okay right and the last one is myriapods myriapods are the invertebrates with many jointed legs so this animal has uh, a lot of legs so like here okay centipod okay centipede it has many legs jointed with the body and it has a pair of antenna so centipedes and scorpions are called uh, Mary Potts, okay, because it has many legs jointed with the body. So th these are the things that we have learned today. So I hope you all remember and you have learned a lot. So okay, so you can read the lesson in their book once again, so that you can remember more about the the four groups of arthropods. After watching this video, you will see the homework, which will be uploaded after a minute of uh, the video so when you finish just say i am done and then teacher will post or drop the homework in the group don't forget to do your homework so your homework will be a part of your uh, exam as well so if you do it well you can uh, gain more scores i will mark on it and then i will give you the feedback thank you for your participation your attention and cooperation and i'll see you in the next lesson bye have a good day